Hello Minecraft players. Uh, I actually got a lot of requests about these silos I'm using here. And quite a few people asked if I could show how, how I made these. Because apparently they are causing some difficulties when people are trying to do similar silos or similar setups. <coughs> so I've set up a small area over here, cleaned all the forest out, placed some stone blocks, I can't remember, but the ID is 98, and it's 30 deep, so it's solid, one huge block, 30 deep, because the silos over there, they are actually quite deep, at least twice as deep as they are high above the ground. Okay, and of course I'm using uh, in-game modding tools to be able to achieve this. First of all, I'm going to place myself in the middle or approximate middle, and then I'm going to use the world edit or I think it's single player commands in uh, when you play single player. Eight cylinder, horizontal cylinder. Uh, I can't remember the command, so like that. It shall block. We want glass. We want a radius. Oh my god, I can't remember the radius. Let's say 5. We can always change it. And a height of 5. There we go. And that's too big. It shall 20. For glass, radius 3, height 5. That, that seems more like these over there. So the next thing is to fill the insides with the refinery, well, the containers to con that hold all the liquid. And again I'm using uh, the wallet tool, marking the spot, going to replace Air with 165. There we go. And uh, before all of this is going to work, I'm going to need a diamond pick. There we go. And the center tube is not going to be used. Let's turn on suit. There we go. Oops. There we go. So now we got the tree in the middle unused. The reason I have this is because it's it makes my work a lot easier. And you can't really tell. So now imagine we we fill it with some sort of uh, liquid. There we go. And uh, we fill it from the top. There we go. And it's being filled from out here. <coughs> there we go. So now something is pumping some sort of liquid into these and it will automatically spread out through them. At first it will fill these near the entrance and then at last it will fill these over here. So you get this uh, strange looking filling. You can see the fuel here. These one are max and it's sort of an arch. Well, not an arch. A diagonal. Anyway, fuck that. We now want to create a system so we can pump out uh, whatever we pump inside. And for that to happen we need to clear up some space below. And yes, we are just going to use the edit tool again. Let's see, we need one wire. Expand five down. Set to nothing. There we go. 
Let's set this to one. There we go. Okay, now we need some pumps at the bottom. We're just using regular redstone pumps because... Oh, that's a fail. Fail, fail, fail. Idiot. At first we need wood pipes to extract the liquid from the containers. <laughs> and then we need pumps. Adding a wood pipe under each, just to make sure they're all there. You're checking, yeah. And now we add pumps. And yes, I am placing every second on purpose because you have to turn them around afterwards. Now, if you're making a silo like this, uh, legit, you're going to need a lot of resource. But then again, you can make it only four. No one says it has to be this big or larger. You, of course, make the silo adjusted to your needs. There we go. And now we need somewhere for all of this to go, because it will just pump the fuel out into the, the wood pipes now. And that is not satisfactory. So we're going to simply attach gold pipes around it at first. And in the corners you have to make sure the gold pipe crosses out like this. Else it won't be pumped around or out of the silo. It will just go around in the, in the tubes. There we go. Just checking. Everything is in order. Perfect. And in the middle, the same thing. Uh, one pipe there, and one pipe there. Not up there. There we go. So now we need these to be connected together, but we also need to be able to turn on and off the pumps. So let's see. Uh, first of all, we need a direction. Fluids go in here, and we want it to exit over here. So I'm just going to... Let's see. This is the middle one. We want it to go out this way. So at first we're just going to use the gold pipe out. Let's see how it looks. Okay. I still want to be able to hide it. So there we go. Like that. I can place a block over it. And it's hidden. <coughs> but then the problem starts. We need to get the fuel from the center out as well. So normally I have this opening pointing the way we're going to extract the liquid. But it doesn't appear we have that opportunity this time. So we're just going to use one of the ends. What the hell was that? Oh! Well, well, well. Let's have some cake then. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Extract it down. And you might as well just let it go far down at first, because you're going to have to <laughs> pull it all the way down under all the redstone we're going to plant now. So in order to get this to work, we are going to place some blocks there. I just uh, placed those to make sure I 
had one space because on top of this there's going to be a redstone torch. There we go. And there we go. And I'm not going to place torches up here yet. I need to place them below first because if I place them on the top, guess what? The engines will just burn off and explode, which sucks or is quite annoying. There we go. Now we're going to place a lot of redstone torches. Sometimes the pumps, uh, yeah, you can see they start. They will only just start and stop. So don't mind that. Okay. <coughs> First layer set up. Uh, now we need to uh, be able to turn these on and off down here. And to make this happen, we're just going to use some... Uh, bum, bum, bum. Well, repeaters. I can't see them, they're right there. <coughs> as many as possible in this layer. So the next layer of torches will have as few as possible. Well, at first these three. And these three. And these three. And these three. So now we got all 12 uh, in the outer layer turned on or off as we please. We just connect the redstone to these repeaters and it's it should be working. Now we're going to excavate another floor down. There we go. And don't destroy your <laughs> what you just made. Only open up the corners. Like so. This will also enable you to create uh, ladders or staircases up and down into the system. And there we go. Now in order to make sure we turn off the last floor, uh, well at first I'm going to continue to extend this pipe down. And the last tree is this, and these, everything else is already turned off. But we still need another floor. The alternative to creating uh, the last floor down here is to uh, invert the redstone before you get it down here. I'm not going to bother with that. There we go. That was wrong. That was right. That's terrible. And now we can place these as well. So, now we are able to turn on and off all the redstone as we please. And where did the exit go? Over here. 
I can now transfer this fuel or whatever liquid I might be transporting in this pipe. Let's just find the other pipe. It's up there. Uh, out of the silo. No, we want a iron pipe uh, at that junction, so we can control the flow. We're just making sure it runs up and exits only. There we go. Now we have a input and a output, and now we need to connect the redstone. And I prefer to start at the bottom floor. Just clearing out so I can place the repeaters. Oh my god. He's a hungry fellow. Anyway, now we need some redstone. Ordinary good old redstone. <coughs> uh, sometimes, usually when I play, uh, I use the red power mod. But it's not working correctly for me. Uh, well, it hasn't been working for some time now, so I kind of gave it up. I really loved it, just wiring things up to the side. Um, but I saw Eleron is making a red power too, but how far it's how it's coming along, I don't know. And well, yeah. <laughs> I'm wiring redstone the old school way. There we go. The reason I'm making a lot of extra space is because I like to be able to walk up and down to my redstone circuits. And I'm <coughs> just going to connect all the Repeaters, <coughs> making sure uh, I got enough repeaters along the way, so the current will reach them all. Not sure what that one was supposed to... Oh, yeah, of course. And... Yep. There we go. And the last thing we need before we do anything else is some light. It's uh, extremely dark. Uh, only reason it seems bright right now is I believe I have... No. There we go. My brightness to max. To the max. Few torches. Makes sense when you're working with fuel that you place torches everywhere. Brilliant idea. Open flames and fuel. That's a good mix. Anyway, I never said it was fuel. It might as well just be any liquid at all. Another reason why you want lights is because for some reason creepers really enjoy spawning down here and blowing the shit out of everything. And I do not enjoy that. Anyway, 
the silo is uh, basically complete now. I'm just going to cover up the extra hole. And uh, now we have these corners. I'm just going to <coughs> block them off like that. And there we go. One piece of silo. <laughs> One piece of silo. Again with the food. Well, I blame not. Any case, we need one to hide this off and have a lever. <coughs> there we go. And by pulling this lever, all the pumps should start. And it seems they are all running. Perfect. Now oh, that was easy. <coughs> no problem at all. Let's uh, get some fuel in there. How do we do that? Well, I imagine myself just placing uh, a couple of pumps. I mean, two of these should be fine. And a few blocks. Okay, and let's get some fuel in there. Oops, that's not fuel. <laughs> no blocks, come on. There we go. There we go, we need some levers. Maybe it would be an idea to actually connect this to the system. Pumping away. Uh, sure, maybe we should get the second engine running as well. Pump, pump, pump. And some fuel. <coughs> And inventory cleaner. There we go. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Again. We need the water. Now, I have noticed something funny. It appears that you can fill these pipes to the max like this. And the fuel uh, input is limited. I have been trying to work on a solution for this. By serial connecting uh, the pipes. There we go. <coughs> um, Let's 
sure if that's doing any good at all. What I want to achieve is uh, the pipes not being completely full. And it looks like it's working. The reason for this is because if they're full, they're not, uh, they're limited. And I do not want to limit it. And another problem is the iron pipes. When you use a iron pipe, it, it creates a, a clog up in the system. You can see it's full here, empty here. If you do this, it will fill up the pipe. Let's just do that. It's water. There we go. Let's get some water in there. And as you can see, it's working. It's filling all the silos one by one. Slowly, but surely. Now you can see there's water in the pipes below. <laughs> That's bad. That's very bad. That means there's a broken pipeline somewhere. We're just going to leave them running until they explode. Doesn't matter. Uh, and by a broken pipe I mean there is a connection somewhere allowing the water to run through. And I'm not sure why, but I believe it's a bug in uh, in Billcraft because none of the engines are running and the areas are completely separated they are not even connected water is coming in the top and it's only way to come out is through the wood pipes in the bottom and still the exit pipe is full of water how can that be Maybe we should send a message to Spade Toad that there's a issue here. It's a minor issue and it doesn't really matter at this point. Anyways, <coughs> let's just turn this off. Off, I said. Off, 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 off. There we go. I wanted to show you... Oh, of course, now I know. I had the pumps running before and they stored a lot of energy, so when there actually was something to pump, they took out the water. And that's what we can see there now. Water has nowhere to go. So, we should do this. Make sure it just runs back into the silo. And <coughs> make a small level. There we go. So you can switch the direction of the flow. Now it's just running back. If you wanted to exit, you can do this. There we go. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope it helped you <coughs> to build a silo. If you're going to build it uh, legit, I'm impressed. It takes a lot of materials. Even though all of these materials, the glass, the, the storage cubes, uh, the pumps are cheap ones, it's a lot of cheap ones and a lot of redstone. So I'll talk to you soon. Uh, uh, not sure what I'm going to build next. Next, thanks for watching. Feedback and comments, please.